For those of us who don't know your business well enough, give us a sense of what drives your business to the plus side or the negative side. What are the principal drivers that give you success? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, the global money transfer industry is, is basically the idea of, of moving money from country to country around the world. And it's a $600 billion industry. Uh, very exciting because about one in eight people in the world are migrants. And there's, you know, over uh, several hundred million people moving around uh, every year looking for opportunity uh, and the need to send money back home. So people looking for employment and jobs and these types of things. So the global economy really helps drive the industry, it helps drive the business and the, the need for employment, the need for labor, uh, these types of things. And so, you know, our job is to position, you know, our product around the world to make it as relevant as possible for uh, all of our consumers on a, on a daily basis. So you say $600 billion. Is that number growing, shrinking, staying the same? Is the overall pie growing? and where are you in terms of taking market share? Yeah, the overall pie is growing, uh, absolutely. And, you know, single-digit growth, but, you know, the World Bank continues to estimate that will continue to, to move forward. Um, obviously, you know, uh, you know, a lot of immigration challenges in, in you know, westernized uh, countries these days, it, it certainly is changing that landscape a little bit. Um, you know, market share uh, has been relatively steady. The, com the company has uh, uh, done some things this year on the compliance front to actually intentionally uh, reduce risk in certain uh, markets and certain corridors, and so we are down a little bit this year, uh, but we are repositioning the company. We're going through what we call a digital transformation and really thinking very differently about uh, the consumer interaction and how we go to market. So uh, we're doing a lot of things intentionally uh, and uh, you know, it's going to have a great effect for us over the long term. Uh you really have been front and center in the conflict uh, between China and the U.S. and Financial had bid for you guys and that got shut down uh, by CFIUS on concerns of U.S. military personnel using payments and sort of uh, China accessing that data. What do you do? Yeah, well, you know, it's very unfortunate that they made that decision. I think, you know, the world continues to globalize and I think that the opportunity to uh, increase uh, access to payments, uh, access to mobile technologies, and begin to reduce costs for consumers globally is, is very important. And I think the, the deal with Ant Financial would have helped uh, our industry do that. Um, you know, going it alone is okay. We've been, you know, a, a public slash private company for uh, many years now. And what we're doing is really, you know, pivoting our strategy. You know, globally, we have been one of the largest money transfer providers, over 200 countries, uh, but that's been distributed through about 350,000 physical locations. And so what we're really good at is getting money from point A to point B real time um, and paying that out in cash and receiving it in cash. Uh, as the world has changed, as mobile technologies have increased globally, consumers' access to uh, accounts has changed as digital wallets have grown around the world, bank account access has increased, and so we're changing our business model and changing our strategy. We are very focused on becoming much more consumer centric, putting in relevant innovations into the market, um, and beginning to give consumers the opportunity to transact through mobile devices, online, send money into bank accounts, send money into mobile wallets. Uh, and that's really uh, been where a lot of our, our growth has, has come from as, you know, challenges in the cash-to-cash -cash market. Um, have uh, you know uh, changed our focus uh, and required us to think differently about about that market. Alex, At the same time, I think cash is going to be huge. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I, I was just going to say, explain how that works for your customers because you said a lot of them are migrants. A lot of them, as I understand, are yep. either unbanked or underbanked. So a lot of them don't have bank accounts. Do they basically use their smartphones? They have smartphones. How does it work for them if they don't have a normal banking relationship? Yeah, so that's a great question because uh, in a number of cases that, that's true. One thing that is consistent is that a lot of people, uh, most people around the world do have access to, to mobile technologies. And so what we're seeing is consumers on the send side, so consumers, uh, migrants that have, have reached uh, you know, the United States, people that are in, in Western Europe, the Middle East, uh, where they found employment are um, being paid more and more uh, frequently into bank accounts, less in cash. Uh, they're accessing those bank accounts through their mobile devices and then they're able to move money uh, home through those technologies. On the receive side, where consumers have consistently picked up those remittances in cash, uh, they're beginning to want to put those uh, into uh, mobile wallets uh, or into bank accounts directly. And so it's really changing the paradigm and really changing how you know, this new omni-channel consumer is impacting uh, our industry. What we've had to do 
uh, is change our distribution uh, processes and thoughts around that and add uh, bank account access, mobile wallet access in a number of countries around the world. We recently launched, for example, with Gcash in the Philippines, uh, where consumers can send directly into that Gcash wallet. And that's a huge you know, innovation, really exciting because it gives those consumers access to funds in very, very different ways. Um, on the send side, where consumers are trying to access uh, money transfers differently, uh, we've grown from, uh, grown from about three countries where consumers can send online or, or through a mobile device now to 17 countries, uh, and we're hoping to reach about 25 to 30 countries by the end of this year. Right. Uh, we've also launched a new native app in Europe, and that native app will be coming to the U.S., and so that access, that ability for consumers to interact with us is changing tremendously.